straight out of this town You and your Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I've done a makeup tutorial. I'm super excited to be filming this for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a look inspired by Casey Musgraves. Um, she's a country singer that I adore and I've loved for years. She posted a photo on her Instagram story a couple days ago and I was obsessed with the look. I thought she was so beautiful. I'll insert it here. And yesterday I decided to recreate the look and put it on Instagram. I ended up absolutely loving this makeup look and decided to do a tutorial on it. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, leave me a thumbs up. Please comment below with um, other tutorials that you want to see, other videos. Um, I love talking to you guys down in the comments. So I appreciate all your love and support and yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My kids are in the room next door to me watching a movie, so I really hope you can't hear everything. What are you gonna do? Also, side note, I received a little sample of this Lancome moisturizer and eye cream that was for like texture, skin coloration, correcting, something like that. And it gave me a allergic reaction. <laughs> um, it's funny because it was literally a cream for texture and it gave me the most texture I've ever had in my entire life. So it's in the process of healing, but there's still like, it's still kind of noticeable. I still have bumps on my face. I probably shouldn't be doing makeup right now, but you know. Okay, so let's get started with the eyes. Um, I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner Calm Before the Storm palette. This is such a pretty palette. I wore it a lot last spring, um, just because they're such pretty like pastel spring Easter-y colors. Why did I just go like this? Like what? So I'm gonna go right in with this purple shade right here. Um, this is the shade Aquarius. And I'm going to be using the JH31 Smorphe Jaclyn Hill brush. Um, this palette is seriously perfect for this eye look. I don't know what palette Casey's makeup artist used, but this is really similar to whatever shade she was wearing. So I was super happy that I had this palette. Okay, and I'm going to put that all over my lid and up into my crease. I literally only use this purple and two shimmers from this palette to create this look. So it's a fairly simple eye look, I think. I'm having to like constantly look at my camera because the last time I filmed a tutorial, half of my footage was gone. Like it was just gone. So kind of why I haven't filmed in a while because I've been so discouraged by my camera and just losing my footage that I'm honestly scared to film. So I really hope that this video makes its way onto my YouTube channel because Now using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I'm going to do a little bit of a cut crease situation. You can 100% hear the lightsaber in the background. I'm so sorry. It's so loud. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Morphe M166. It looks like this to cut the crease. I have a smaller version of this that I like to use way better because this is a little big, but I can't find it. So we're just going to make it work, I guess. And to be honest, I'm not very good at this, so don't judge me. Pretty much just putting the concealer where I want my shimmer to really show on the eyelid and it helps when you open your eyes as well while you're applying the concealer to really look straight on where you want that shimmer to pop. Concealer is done. Um, now I'm gonna go in with this really pretty purple shimmer down here. This is the shade Heaven Scent. Um, this one's really pretty. It's iridescent. It has blue tones in it as well. All right, I'm gonna be using the JH41 brush and I'm going to put this over the concealer that we just put down. Pooped on his foot. On his foot? On his toe. 
How? He pooped on his toe. It was green. He's like, get off, get off. <laughs> so my son decided to take off his diaper and poop everywhere. So I'm hoping the rest of this video goes um, smoothly because so far it's not great. <laughs> okay, where were we? I don't know. That was like 20 minutes ago. Um. Okay, the shimmer. We're still on the purple. Okay, great. Over the top of that, I'm going to go in with this pink shimmer. This is the shade Sweet Sweet. Okay, then I'm going to go back in with that purple just to really define the crease a little bit more, um, staying above the shimmers that we just did. So I want that purple to really stand out. Okay, now I'm going to do some winged liner. I'm going to be using the NYX Gel Liner and a Morphe M250-1 brush. It looks like this. This eyeliner brush is everything. It makes creating a wing just so easy and effortless. So. Alright, now I'm going to pop on some lashes. I'm going to be using the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. And um, the lash glue I'm using is by Ardell, the Duo Lash Glue, and this is the Dark Tone Glue. I'm going to put the glue on and wait a little bit until it gets pretty tacky and then put them on. You can have your space, cowboy. I'm gonna fence you in. lashes are on. I'm just going to go over the top again with that liner just to make sure everything looks really seamless. Okay, I'm actually going to be trying out a new foundation today. I'm super excited to try. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. For those of you who watch my videos and follow me on Instagram, you guys know that the L'Oreal Pro Glow is like my number one foundation. Um, so I'm excited to try the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour wear. Um, the L'Oreal Pro Glow is buildable and I can get a good coverage, like a full coverage with that foundation, but I have been looking for something just a lot more full coverage right off the bat. So um, I'm excited to try this. I also picked up the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Um, this is in the shade Light Peach, which isn't a shade I probably would have picked up normally, um, but it was the last one on the shelf and I was like, you know what, I'm going to make it work. I'm going to get it. I'm going to try it. In the L'Oreal Foundation, I uh, grabbed the shade... Pearl. Um, I tested out the shade um, next to that, which was porcelain, and it oxidized a little bit when I tested it out. So I figured the lightest shade would probably match this. Do I'm gonna start with one pump, just see what happens. Um, I'm gonna use the Morphe Beauty Blender. Has a very strong scent. <clears throat> don't love that so far this is really pretty like i'm i'm kind of living for this and keep in mind my skin isn't at its best right now and the fact that it's like covering it up really nicely and sitting nicely um says a lot um so i just did another pump i really like this it's really pretty yeah, I really like this. Okay, so let's try out this e.l.f. concealer. Again, like I said, this is in the shade Light Peach, and I probably wouldn't have got this shade, but honestly, I think I can make it work. It looks pretty light in the tube, so let's see. It has a huge applicator like the Shape Tape. Yeah, this is a little yellow. Wow, that's a lot. It's a little yellow, but it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I just want to see how it wears and what it looks like. Okay. So very thick, very full coverage. I can already tell. And I mean by the name of it, I figured it was full coverage.
it's blending really nicely color actually is not that bad at all um so far so good oh my gosh i'm impressed not settling into my fine lines okay honestly might be obsessed not gonna lie but let's wait let's see um, I'm going to set my under eye with the Maybelline Fit Me powder. It's setting really nicely with the powder too. Wow, e.l.f. come through. That was like a 3 or $4 concealer. I also want to try their foundation too after this. I'm intrigued. Okay, next I'm going to set my entire face with the Absolute Powder um, by Lancome. Um, I picked this up the other day and I love it. It's so beautiful. I'm in the shade absolute pearl um this is the jh01 brush i actually meant to get the powder that jacqueline uses to like highlight and i got the wrong shade but i ended up actually really really liking the way this sets my foundation and just how it looks on the skin so i'm gonna keep it so yeah all right Okay, let's keep moving. Um, I'm going to put some bronzer on. I'm going to be using my favorite bronzer at the moment. This is from the Morphe 8H palette, and it's this shade right here called Donut, and another Jaclyn Hill brush, um, the JH02. And I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks. And my forehead, and then just my chin and jawline. And then for blush, I'm going to be using, this is from the brand Clarins, um, and it's just this really pretty light pink blush. Um, this is in the shade Lovely Rose. I felt like this blush was just like a nice little light pink moment, and just thought it was kind of fitting for this look, so. It's not super dramatic, it's kind of a subtle, just nice little wash of pink. This is the JH04 brush that I'm using. And then I'm also just going to kind of lightly do my forehead. Just kind of place it here and there. Next I'm going to do a little bit of baking and I'm going to dip my Morphe sponge into this Maybelline Fit Me powder. Bake a little bit right here on my cheek. I did not grab enough powder. What am I doing? Okay, and while that's cooking, um, we're just going to finish up the eye. I'm going to take that purple shade and just lightly smoke out the bottom lash line. Not too much, nothing crazy. That's about all I'll do for the under eye. Um, in her picture, she didn't look like she really had anything under the eye. Um, so I'm going to keep it pretty light. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and just put a little bit of mascara on the bottom, bottom, the bottom lash line. Okay, and now for lips. This is from Maybelline. It's a lip liner in the shade Beige Babe. And I'm just going to line my lips with this. I'm going to go in with the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lip in Coco K. When I did this look before, I actually used... Um, the Coco K and Jeffree Star's Mannequin. Um, but actually, I'm going to switch it up today and make it a little bit more pink. I'm going to go over top of Coco K with this Bare Minerals gloss in the shade Groovy. Okay, now for highlight, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Highlight Duo. This is the Kilowatt Highlight Duo. And I'm going to just go in with both shades. These <gasps> oh my lord. This is the Morphe M510. Oh my gosh, it's literally, it's about to come out. Lightly put that on the cheeks and go up. Okay, now we're going to wipe the bake away. 